Welcome back. This is Rich again, back for another exclusive YouTube video blog. This YouTube video blog is about conference realignment in college sports and if, if it makes sense or is it worth it. And I'll talk to you about how all the conferences and college sports are being realigned, and it's not for geography. But first, this message. Don't forget to listen to Crystal's Time Machine each and every Friday and Saturday night from 9 to 11 p.m. on WCAP 980, where everybody gets it. If you can't catch show live, listen to the podcast exclusively on archive.org. Goes back to October 2015. Follow Crystal on various social media websites, including Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. She posts one exclusive video a week. And if you order from Broadway Pizza, yes, the official Crystal's Time Machine sponsor, you get a two dollar discount on your food. But you have to order it through um, in person or over the phone. Online orders via computer or or text will not be valid. And now back to the video. Okay. My next exclusive YouTube video blog subject is about conference realignment in college sports and if it is worth it and is it necessary. Over the past several years, a lot of colleges and universities are realigning from going to um, their conference they've been in for many, many years to a newer conference that they might not fit geographically with, but they do this because of television money. And also another thing, uh, they do it because of football. College football is the number one um, revenue producer for all of NCAA college back. Um, college sports, including basketball and hockey and baseball and uh, all the other sports. Um, what All 133 um, schools that play in Division I, um, FBS, the football bowl system of the schools, that's their budget for football, subsidizes all the other sports. If they didn't have football, then all the other sports would be would need to raise enough money to survive. This conference realignment probably started 20 years ago when the ACC plucked um, the Big East Football Conference from schools like um, Syracuse and Pittsburgh and Boston College and the University of Miami and Virginia um, Tech from the Big East. And they went to the ACC because the ACC had a massive television contract with ABC and ESPN. They had, they had, their, their basketball conference is good. Their football conference is so, so, another, um, another like conference that is probably very big is the Big Ten. The Big Ten has now 18 teams. They started expanding first to Nebraska in 2011, took them from the Big 12, and then 2014, they went to Rutgers and Maryland. They took Rutgers from the... Um, Big East, and they took Maryland from the ACC. Rutgers is very bad in most of the college sports, but the Big Ten wanted its own television market, um, wanted the New York market, and also Maryland. They wanted to have at least another team on the East Coast because 
mainly the Big Ten is in the Midwest. Such powerhouse schools as, schools as Michigan and Ohio State and Penn State and Wisconsin and Minnesota, among others, are in that conference. Plus, there's the um, the Big Ten Network, which is run, run by Fox. They expanded to um, um, 16 teams by grabbing U.S. SC and UCLA in 2022 from the Pac-12 because uh, they want the, the LA market. And this past year, 2023, they um, took Oregon and Washington from the Pac-12. The Big Ten has a big television contract with Fox, CBS, and NBC for the football. And they're one of the top powerhouse in conferences in football, and also and the other top conference is the SEC, the Southeastern Conference. It has Alabama and Georgia and Kentucky and LSU, and they're going to get Texas and Oklahoma in 2024. They also have Texas Tech and Missouri and Florida and South Carolina, among others. So there'll be a 16-team conference, plus they have a new television deal with ABC and ESPN. And they're basically in the southeast part of the United States. And the last major conference is the Big 12, which is based out of the Midwest. And their top schools are Kansas and Oklahoma State. Texas Tech, Baylor, Iowa State, plus they added TCU in 2012, and also West Virginia, and they added um, BYU, Houston, Cincinnati, and Central Florida, and they're going to add um, Arizona and Colorado and Utah and Arizona State. In, within two years, and they have a decent television contract with the big with Fox and CB and ESPN, and those are the Power Four. Another Power Conference, but it's, it's basic, still in existence. But, but there's only four teams. It's um, California, Stanford, Oregon State, and Washington State. That's the remain the. Uh, the remnants of the Pac-12, which television contract was going uh, going to expire at the end of the year. That's why all the teams voted, because there was a part a proposal of a new television contract, but it was basically going to be streaming, and all the other schools just pleaded to other conferences. And there's also talk that the stronger schools in the, of the ACC, um, Florida State, Clemson and perhaps North Carolina or Duke is looking to get out of the um, contract they have with ABC and ESPN, which runs for 2036. But I heard something that told that um, that deal that includes the ACC network, they're not getting paid like the Big 12 or the SEC or the Big 10. And they want to either renegotiate it or most likely get out of the contract, and they want to. Um, and these schools need four other schools to break the grant of rights. And then, if that happens, there's a good possibility that um, Florida State, Clemson, North Carolina, Duke is probably going to be jumping to the SEC with Virginia or Virginia Tech or um, Georgia Tech going to. Um, the Big Ten, and then that could destroy the ACC. And this is all leading to uh, um, the becoming super conferences of um, three um, college um, conferences, most likely the Big Ten, the SEC, and the Big 12 having a super league of 24 schools each. And the rest of the 
whatever left is the rest of the conferences probably will be, you know, relegated maybe to FCS status. And it's going to be real, real interesting. And many people are saying that. Um, why is Oregon have to play Rutgers and football and basketball, but it, it makes no sense for them to play um, non-revenue sports like soccer or baseball because these conferences, the money for the college football and the college football playoff is going to expand to 12 teams in 2024. And probably the big conferences, the conference winners get the automatic bids, and then they're going to have out large bids, but they should give it to one to the, the best group of five um, conferences that is not the power conferences. Have a little bit of a Cinderella story, perhaps, but, you know, the big the big teams are probably going to win each and every year, like Alabama, Georgia, Michigan, Ohio State, Notre Dame, etc., which Notre Dame is an independent in football, but they're part of the ACC and all other sports. And the dream scenario, if, um, the, if Notre Dame ever decided to join a a uh, football conference that's most likely going to be the Big Ten because they're geographically in the Midwest. And all of these, um, all of these, like, conferences are going outside their geographical areas, which it makes no sense, but it is for football and they want the money. It's just a money grab, in my humble opinion. And college football is going to be very, very different within the next um, few years. Probably be only 72 teams fighting to win the national championship in football, while the other schools probably be maybe relegated to FCS status. But then again, you never know. That's about it. Thank you for all your support. I will talk to you again soon. Like and share this video.